For workers across the globe, May 1 is usually a special day to applaud their contributions towards nation building. In Nigeria, this year's celebration is dedicated to heroes in the front line against COVID-19, men and women who have braved the odds, working tirelessly to save lives and curb the spread of the virus. Over and over, workers have shown resilience from nation to nation, continent to continent, day to day and hour to hour. Workers have shown that it is only on their shoulders can our world survive and remain sustainable. Our celebration this year, therefore, is of the worker, the heroes of the front line against COVID-19, the ones who have worked tirelessly and wantonly deprived to, to keep the nations of the world going in the midst of the global lockdown. While celebrating the May Day, the United Labour Congress brings to the front burner the need to improve the welfare of Nigerian workers. More importantly, now that the federal government plans to relax the lockdown order from May 4. So the workers should be more careful themselves. They should uh, organize themselves into teams to make sure that the guidelines, the rules are complied with, especially as it affects physical distancing and then sanitization. If you come to this office now, there is the, this thing to test here. Uh, there is where you wash water, there is, sorry, wash hands, sanitizer. Such things must be, pre must be ready in the offices or else the workers have the right not to work if such measures are not put in place. We also feel it's even devilish you know, for any employer at this point in time to, you know, to relieve every worker of, of his job you know, because of this COVID-19. Because these are the corporate body that still donate items, cash and food, you know, they say for the poor and the vulnerable. So if you have some workers under your employment and, and you are sacking him, are you, are you asking him to go and join the poor out there whom you are donating items to, you know, you know, to also survive? So you know, I, I think it's appropriate to, that they take this situation as part of their own you know, corporate social responsibility. The labor movement also pays tribute to workers who lost their lives in the battle against the pandemic. Workers have been the light, the beacon of hope, that have kept the nations going. We pay tribute to these men and women, comrades, not just in the trenches, but at the battle for the survival of the human race against the ravages of global infections. <clears throat> that is why the USC proposes an international day for the remembrance of great matters of COVID-19 struggle. As workers brace up for the easing of the lockdown, their expectations more attention will be devoted to the welfare of Nigerian workers. For Plus TV Africa, Nimi Adekombi.